areas. I didn't realize I thought the the mountain was like the the like last area, but then I went through the lava tube and got to the actual last area. I like the driving segments in this like a lot. The zoomer. Like I don't know, I guess because the control there is kind of wonky, but it's predictable. So if I fuck up, it feels like it's my fault. Whereas with a lot of the platforming, it's just like, I, it should have worked there, but it didn't. Snow. Damn, you in shorts in this weather? You wild for this one, Jack. Y'all good? Bad enough? Ah, you too. Got to get punchy, Eco. See, so this is Red Eco, so you were right there was gonna be Red Eco. But also, the fountain looks almost identical to the other one. So that's my point. It's like, I didn't, until I actually got it, I didn't even realize it was something different. I expected it to be the fire. Okay, I don't, are these something I'm supposed to like punch? Because it's like all cracked. Do I want these? Switch. Last Lurker Glacier Troop. I don't know what that's about. I guess over the bridge. Oh, there she goes. Dakota, no! <gasps> this man? Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, oh, he's not loud. Wait, no! No, I want him still. Oh, he shake. Wait, no, look. Can you look down, please? <laughs> I'd like to see what I'm jumping towards. Oh, and I can't even go into the first person, so I just gotta blind jump to this? Okay. Button? How do... <coughs> how do button with bird? Oh, what? Oh, what the heck? That's not a thing they've introduced at any point. They didn't even have Dax to be like, Look, it's a button that's only the bird feet! Something. Yeah. They've introduced buttons, but they're always something you gotta, like, jack. You got Jack and or Daxter. It's one of those ones, Crash Bandicoot has a lot of this too, where it's like, you could get it with just the one, but you're just like, ha double jump, just for that tiny extra bit. 
Nope, nope. Okay. See, this bird jumps as high as it looks Jack should jump with his animation. Where he does like the huge like get down and then the boing, but then he only goes like a, like a foot. Like this is what it feels like he should be jumping. Nope. Feels like this game they planned to make this game a lot longer, because this is only the second time they've even given me this bird. Yeah, it feels like they've meant to do a lot more zoomer sections, too. There's only the one, like, open world one so far. Ah. Oh, oh shit. Um, I think Breadsword said in his video on Jack and Daxter that this was originally meant to be, like, an open world zoomer game. Which I, th I think is what they did with Jack 2. Hence why the zoomer feels so polished. So then it'd be just like the best game. Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. <laughs> That's the worst thing in a platformer. The oh god, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I did make it. Oh no, I already recorrected. <laughs> that feeling of just sheer panic of I got to jump on the Milano cookies. Mm, toasty Milano. Fuck, I want a Milano cook now. Oreos are okay. They don't got that, that nice snap like Milano's do. I don't have time to wait. You guys can't give me a time limit and then also timing puzzles. That's not how that works. One or the other. Or like one then the other, then both. You can't just give them to me as the first thing on this section. It's like starting me on like algebra when you haven't even taught arithmetic. No, no. he's such a rude boy. Perhaps because he knows what's in Jack's heart. Jack is the rude boy. What the? Where's this? I ain't been there. Oh, I hope there was nothing over there that was important. the heck? Oh, this is a good camera angle. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Then there we go. Took him a minute to catch up. Skate. Skating on bare feet. He do be barefoot in the waist deep snow. Jack and Daxter 2. Jack gets his feet amputated. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a very slip slidey skate mechanic. Oh no. Oh, a little happy man. Go away. Please. I'm try egg. I'm try grab egg. Why must you pop? Whoa, oh, this is sliding now, too. What the heck? It is freezy icy. You are correct. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, 
for a game that does not let you look down, unless you go into this, I guess, they sure have a lot of platforms that are down. What do you want me to do here? I don't need that. I can just spinny these guys. Get out of here. Get out of here, you bouncy. Bouncy boys! Oh yeah, this is satisfying. Oh yeah, that felt good. Yeah, yeah. Get back here. Ah, you... <clears throat> oh, guess I'm back here. Well, let's see what's around the other side. Egg. Egg is around the other side. Ah, uh, no, not one of these guys! Not here. Not now. Oh, the roll really helps. Navigating the ice. Out of here. <laughs> nope. Oh yeah, also the thing I found out by watching tutorials is this roll jump is like... Despite not once being explained at any point in the game, is crucial to so many of these. It just goes so much farther. And they never once tell you it's a thing you can do. Or maybe they did, but it was like... A bajillion years ago before you actually need it. Oh, great. I'm figuring out now, um, especially with like the teaching board games and stuff, is like front loading rules is really the worst way to teach somebody something. And because that's the way I gotta learn a board game to teach it to other people, it's like really tempting to just do that because I've gotten pretty good at just being able to remember that stuff. Um, so, like, I'm really focusing in on trying to just give the information that's needed and then like save it for later but then it's like like scoring rules specifically it'll be like oh be careful because if you don't like get this particular resource you'll be screwed later in the game and it's like i don't want to blindside people with that but i also know that it's like you'll probably forget it Because really, the best way to learn anything is to just do the thing and then be presented with situations where you need to learn the particular, like, boundaries of the world. You can't really do that with tabletop games, at least not easily. But it is the most fun way to learn. Oh, yeah, you can do some tight turns on the ice with the roll jump. Just gotta get better at that. I think that's the thing, is, like, I watched... <laughs> I watched, like, one video explaining how to get through one... Uh, get one of the, uh, uh, spider cave power cells. And immediately I'm like, God, I'm just... It is incredible watching someone who actually knows how to do the platforming in this do so correctly. <laughs> Like, like, I totally forgot one of the things you can do with the punch is you punch and then immediately jump and you punch up! Which is how you're supposed to deal with the spiders in the spider cave, is with that! It's really hard to time! It's like, you have to like immediately hit it. Like, the last frame. Or no, you can just do it at any- God damn. That's what I'm saying, this game is not, like... 
Like, it made it clear what the rules were, but it did it way before I needed most of them, so I totally forgot about them by the time it was actually important. And then have Daxter come in and be like, Hey, remember how you can j jump, you friggin' mook? You should do it! Ah, I'm getting out of here. You still on to go to Giano's later? Get some pizza? It's been making me break out like crazy, though. So greasy. But it's delicious. Oh, here we go. What do I need you for? Oh, two scout flies, but then I shot the. Oh, okay. Here we go, I guess. No, not there, I guess. Oh, wait. I need to feel like right underneath there. There's like three. Precursor ball. Whoa, 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 what? No! Okay. I. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is one of the things in a lot of 3D platformers is there's like a clear path that they hope you take, but often, because of the way it's designed, you'll end up on a path midway through. And then it's kind of confusing what you were supposed to do. Ow. Yes, the hogs. Oh, yeah. Egg. Yeah. Couldn't have put it on all of the ice out there or something. I know, but then you could practice it by doing it by giving us eggs to go after, you know? You gotta you gotta give me something to aim for. She she stop knocking. Really? Like out in like a poster or she's just a character? Hey, what the hell? Oh, that one's taken. What's going on? That one's not available. What the Why did it make the voice bunny noise? There's no new ones. Or did they like accept it so good? God damn it. Did they accept it so fast? Uh, I'm very confused. Yeah, neither of these are available. What the hell? So it just made the noise for no reason. Great. We're waste my time. I've been flopping. So he just mentions her. He doesn't. She doesn't like show up and be like, "I'm she." Wow, who would have thought he's all about waifus when he's a friggin' like pervert? That's it, that's his thing. I'm good at games. Also, uh, I'm gonna put you into uh, cosmic slavery. Cosmic sex slavery. Way to endear me to the character, guys. So frustrated because the premise of that sounded really fun, but the characters are just so unlikable. And it's just it's more the isekai nonsense of like, oh, I'm I'm really good at games, so I'm gonna go into the game world and friggin' be gross. Be sure to stay tuned for naked eleven year olds. It's also so incredibly annoying because the guy clearly d knows a lot about games, but he doesn't understand a single thing about how games work. Because like one of the, the how they get into the world is like some random guy is like play me in chess, and they're just like we're gonna do it, we're gonna beat him in chess, 
and they're just like, chess has like 30 million possibilities. So to be good at chess, all you have to do is memorize all of those possibilities. It's like, no. <laughs> Memorizing the possibilities, I guess would help, but there's no feasible way for a human mind to do that. And even if they were, it's like, great, so now you know what the situation is, you don't know where to go from there. What you need to build is heuristics! And it would have been great if he'd actually taken the time to be like, you get really good at the game because of these things. You know, how people actually learn games, not some weird cosmic idea of like, oh, I'm just so smart, I memorized everything into- I'm a human computer. That's not something I can aspire to. No human can aspire to being that. It's unrelatable. I like how the trawlers, when they come running at you, when they're at the lowest point in their animation, all you can see is their little, little hair. They sh- they sh- oh god, how many- Ah! <laughs> how many of them are there? <laughs> Every time I kill one, I start running and immediately there's one right in front of me from off camera. Whoa! Oh, okay. Yeah, they weren't very clear about that, but that makes sense. Okay, oh, what am I to do with the- Whoa, whoa! Bouncy boys. Ah! Why he moans? Why is Daxter such a butthole? Why did I hang out with him? Why did Jack hang out with this guy when he could have been hanging out with Kira? She seems cool. She could have taught you how to like, um... Mushy... Some kind of mushy... I'm sure she would have liked the company. While she worked quietly on a machine in a garage. No! Ah, you butthole. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa! Ah, dang it. I wish the automatic camera in this were better, or they gave me more control of the camera. Either of those would have been ideal. Whoa! Oh, crap. Ah, I didn't realize it was icy until it was too late. Got iced. Stinky crew is here. We got Kraven. Little scampsies. Duber. And Gabriel. Ah, dang it! Should have got that. That was definitely a real, real small hitbox for such a long object. Let me up. Let me up. Whoa. Who made this? Is this a precursor thing? It doesn't look like a precursor thing. Did the trawlers do this? Whoop! Okay. Anyway, get out of here, get out of here dude. Aha! Come on! I think the main reason I almost never use the punch is because it has such a long cooldown. It has such a long cooldown where you're vulnerable, and it's like, it is no stronger in any way. So it's like, um, what's it called? The uh, dominant strategy, where it's like this solves all my problems. It makes me basically invulnerable for a moment, and I can keep moving 
whereas with the punch, it's like it freezes you in place for a second, so that if there's any other enemy, it's terrible for crowd control. What's it- what's it doing? What the punch doing? Whoa, whoa. There we go. I was gonna miss it again. Oh, 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 oh. I was skating there. Is, it, is there like a tiny platform of ice? I don't know that. Weird. Whoa. How's he staying warm? Oh. I guess, yeah. So I just waste all my time. Well, I guess I need to get the, the okay, orbs. Okay, the okay. This is true. I mean, I didn't really need him. I could honestly go to the end of the game right now, but I may as well 100% it. I'm so close. Uh, 78. So I've, I'm pretty sure I've 100% every. Uh, oh, I guess I gotta get. Yeah, I just gotta get them more orbs. I don't know what that one is. I don't know what that one is either. I went through the Mount Pass. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, I got egg, 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 egg. Still need some egg here. Uh, those are the ones I don't know how to bust up, so I don't know what's up with that. And then I literally just walked into there and didn't do anything else. No, don't feed your dad yogurt while sleeping. That's a classic. No. What the hell? It wasn't letting me double jump there. Come on, come on. I really want to know how the double jump works in this game. Because it's clear that, like, the first jump is just jump, but then the second one has, like, some kind of weird prerequisite that... just in the code, and it's very odd to me. I feel like it should just be jump. If you do not hit a surface, jump again. But then, like, clearly how it determines surface is height? Because of how when you jump off of something... So I don't know what's up. Speaking of which, I don't know what's up. Where? What am I doing up here? Birds. <coughs> Other half. That. I yeah, I did all that. I guess I don't think I even got a power cell from all this. Uh ah, precursor blockers. I need that. I think for the spider cave, like you were saying. Right. Frozen crate. Where? Nah, snow. Soft. Soft snow. No damage. Uh, let me go back up. Let me go back over this way. Get out of here. Oh, there is some eggs over there. Well. You would think you were harmonizing at least. I doubt as a kid you were actually doing that. Uh, da 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 da. Wait. Ah! Uh, don't, don't repairs. Ooh. I would just not wake my dad up. He needs sleep. My dad would wake me up. Oh, I think it's back on the stage. Yeah. Uh, what's up there? I'm trying not to. Yeah. They did not say. Literally, uh, Daxter didn't say anything 
when I ran into those. Like, he hasn't mentioned it. They, there was no any kind of thing to say what even that is. Like, I don't even know what it is. Well, I get that it's a button, but it's like, what's the stuff around it? Why is there a force field? Who, do, who does that help? But who does it help with the force field? I, d I definitely felt like I was higher than the beams. Okay, sure. That felt like exactly the same height as like 30 other jumps I did. Bun the, oh. Why didn't Dax just say some s snarky stuff right there? What a butthole. Daxter. Daxter. Daxter! You ain't even helping me. All you do is hang out on my shoulder. You're going for a ride. I didn't agree to this PD bag situation. Okay, cool. Those are still hit. See, yeah, they start you out with this one over here, which I guess the implication is you're supposed to keep working at until you figure it out, but, like, I, I tried it, like, five times and I couldn't get through, so my instinct was, okay, I must not be able to do that yet, there's probably somewhere that turns it off. But, I guess they meant for me to just keep trying, it's just, like, there's, it's a really bad indication of what you're supposed to do. Like, look at that. That's what happened most of the time, so I was like, okay, it must just be an invisible wall until I can turn it off. I didn't think I must have done it wrong. I had to try that so many times just now. Uh, oh, watch out. Not this guy. I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to do with those guys. I think the, the red punch do it, but red punch pretty far away. Whoa, whoa, okay. I'm all the way over here again. They need more checkpoints. Whoa, whoa. I feel like they could have added some. I mean, this is like almost a straight port, so. All, I, it looks like they just kind of cleaned up the graphics a little bit it's for the resolution, and that's about it. If they were to do like an actual remaster, I feel like they would probably add like an autosave, um, you know, clean up the clean up the uh, hitboxes a little bit. as it stands, for the time, super impressive game. I'll be honest, like, there were not many platformers at the time that were this good. But nowadays, I'm just like, what the heck? It's not like auto-connecting me over like a snap to grid. I've just been, I've been very, I've been very spoiled. Also, bucks. Uh, there's a red vent there. I haven't run into any yellow vents that I've seen. Where'd you see the yellow vent? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, it hasn't been active. I see what you mean. You gotta unblock the blockage. You should do that, then. You should do the thing that you have said when you say it. You're a man of your word! Break! Uh. 
that's something... I, I don't even think about it in most platformers, but the sequencing of the platforms... First one you gotta do with the roll jump. The other ones you can just do with, like, standard and double jumps. And then the last one you gotta do with the roll jump, but it's like, at that point, they've set the precedent that, okay, you already did the roll jump. So I keep messing it up, because I don't... Th I see it, and it's only... To do the roll jump, they're not really that much longer than it is with the double jump. See what I mean? And by the time... I'm already jumping by the time I realize it's too late. Get out of here. Okay, these are easier with the ice. You can get a little more momentum going. Go, 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 go. Nope. Try that again. Go, 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 go. I don't know, are these what's gonna open the vent? They have not stated any kind of such thing. Okay, that's a good amount of them. Uh, am I missing some? That doesn't... Oh wait, there is stuff there. So do I want to go down there? Well, I wanted to go down that, I guess. Guffed it up. Fracking. Okay. Oof. So then, well now the, the camera's in a better place for this. Nice. That does feel sad, once you actually line yourself up correctly. Ah, more- Ah, frick! This is gonna spawn me. Back here! I'm gonna take a quick break, just a minute. Oh, BRB. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I don't know. What's up with this today? I've been having the worst luck. There's been like a ton of projects going through, but no matter how quickly I'm, I'm trying to accept them, they're all taken. It must be somebody who's just like way more on their game today than I am. I don't know. 
I mean, it's not the worst thing. I'm, I'm, I'm certainly doing better with voice money than I have been in a long time. It's just uh, a little frustrating. But hey, at the very least, that means I can focus on the stream, and that's not too bad. I, I do, do enjoy being able to stream without distractions. Frickin' ah! You just do a jump! God! There's so many enemies! What is this? Like, a, a half of these would be fine. Why do there gotta be like seven enemies on me? And I can't... I can barely navigate on this ice. It takes a million years to turn around. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ah! I'll say something really teary at the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get Shane back now? <sighs> do it yourself, Baxter. Like, sincerely, why do I care about Daxter getting changed back? He's annoying like this. Why does he even want to get changed back? He's a cute little Otzel right now. I wouldn't mind being an Otzel. You don't gotta work if you're an Otzel. You can just run off in the woods, eat some berries. That sounds like a better life to me than being an annoying little friggin' elf man. I don't know, what are they? They're not precursors, those are the ones who precursored. They're like. at. Jelfs. I wonder how many of these, like, buttons there even are. Ah! It's like, there's no kind of counter showing me. They d did not say a word about them, so I don't know even what they're doing. Ah, ah, no! They're a little easier to do with the ice, because the ice gives you some momentum. But it's also really difficult to turn around. Come on, come on. Come on. Jack the dog. Jake the dog. Why they got these big old elf? Wow! Wow! How far into evolution is this meant to be? Ah. Okay, I guess that was the last one. Sure. Sure. But what was that then? Which one was it? Pre oh, those were the precursor blockers. So is the precursor not blocked now? Uh, I got the power cell actually, so. But what were they blocking? Uh, I'm going absolutely ham on these little bouncy boys. Uh, makes your punches stronger, I guess. So you can get guys with the shields, but there's only been like two of them. I think it also lets you get the spiky ice guys, but there's rarely a red around. Ooh. Ah, frick! I get what I'm doing there, but it's like, it's so hard. Whoa, uh oh, whoa, uh oh. I see. Slippery. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, here. These trawlers would live much longer if they didn't do their chest bump. Yeah. Uh, I think so, at least Daxter said it once. 
He might have been talking about something else. I would not put it past Daxter to say a slur. He's a shitty little guy. Okay. Great, I immediately took damage. Oh, it protects you from the blasties. Wish I'd known that. As I said, it was like, it makes you stronger. It didn't say it makes you invulnerable to explosions. That totally changes my friggin' strategy here. Hmm. Crocodile? Truck a dog? I thought he said a hog. Is that just another, like how pig a hog? Dark plant. Wait a minute, dark plant. But that's. It's like, uh. Is that the first species when it's a uh, plant? Friggin' guns. Jack! Jack! You're not Daxtering! Okay. So what was... So what was that? Lurker. So those are lurkers? Or maybe the wait, what's the trawler then? I'm confused. Maybe I just misremembered it. And it's Lurker, which is creepy. Oh good. Three eggs up here. I do like those guys. Frankenape. Hmm. Probably that's the one. Whenever I'm trying to get Precursor Legacy on Twitch, yeah, it's it's always Jack and Daxter: The Lost Frontier that pops up first. I have to type in like the full Jack and Daxter before this game shows up. Back to never giving me the big boy the juice. Big green. I got like one of them in this level. I don't know why the spider cape had like a bajillion of them. Hmm. Okay. That seems a little uncreative, if I'm to be honest. I am, to be honest. Ah, that's the last self line. Give me the boy. Give me the boy. Thanks. No! Okay. Ah! You... Ah! Woo! Um, game. Uh -huh. Remember when video games were fun? It's all the time when you play Jack and Dexter. Never a good time. <laughs> Is there anything down here? I just I can't look down, so I can't tell if there's like a hidden ledge or something. <sighs> there's not. I, this has been answered. Lightning mole queen. Oh yeah, those guys. They looked more weaselly and mole-like. Oh, I gotta get this guy. 
frick, I'm gonna need uh, some red. I'm gonna go back up here, get some red. <laughs> Jumping up, I think, is the biggest problem. He doesn't. He can get some good distance, but Jack gets like no height. Oh, that was risky. Why'd I do this? Ah, and I spawned over here. I wasn't even over here. It's just in whatever spawn lo- the gigantic, like, five spawn locations per place. Oh, what's that? You died right in the middle of the stage? You, you'll spawn. Literally anywhere. I'm sure there's speedrunners who have, like, figured- Mother- ah! Why does the wall cancel out the jump? Ah! What the- there's a platform down there! It's like a precursor platform. What is this? Get out of here. Yeah, it's the burning thing. I guess I did it. So what was that? It's cold out here. Yeah. He's not even wearing sleeves. Oh, that's what that was? Sure. Frozen crate, yellow vent switch. I have no idea where the yellow vent switch is. I know where the frozen crate is, but I don't know how to open that. You think I know how to open that? Well, okay, there's a platform down there, so I guess... Let's see what that's about. Uh... Where am I going? Why does it take me up here? Take me back down. I want to go back down there. That seemed like a cooler place. It's like stuff down there. How do I get... How do I get to the stuff? Of course, I tried to do the double jump like, you know, most games. Oh wait, no, that was just the end of the level. I saw the platform. Okay, okay. Uh, so I gotta find the yellow vent switch. Whatever that's at. You gotta do the frozen box. Frozen box is like the beginning of the stage. I feel like I probably gotta find the yellow vent switch first because I can't bust the boxes with the uh, the red punch. It's probably going to be one of those things where you got to blindly jump off or something. Hmm? Spin around, softly checking the back, spin around. Uh, I found one, I found one like that that, um, uh, just an egg. Oh, wait. There's two frozen crates. Or no, that's the frozen crate. It just curves so much that it looks like it's the opposite wall. Uh, ba -bum -bum. I don't know. Could you just look it up? I feel like I've seen every part of this stage and I have no idea where else I could search. Thank you. Uh, oh, can I go through these trees? Is that a sneaky secret? Oh, oh, ooh, oh, yep, sneaky secret area. I don't know, like the shape of that. Whoa. Oh, going from, going from sliding to like not. Uh, turn the can ah, it won't let me turn the camera. Going from sliding to not is like when you you go to like the roller rink and you have to like take it, go back to your regular shoes and you're just like, oh, 
There's nothing important. Camera words. Camera words. What are these meant? No. Like, I get like what a lot of this stuff does, and I get that their explanation is gonna be like the precursors were a mysterious character, but it's like, no, what did they? Were they for? Like, they had to have done something, right? They went pro- Whoa. Oh, okay. I guess they weren't for that. Oh, come on! I can't, like, just grab the ledge, at least? It's got cold fingers. Can't grip. Yeah, we're getting risky. Shantae Pods. Be sure to get your Shantae Pods from Limited Run Games while supplies last. No! Oh! Oh! Holy crap, I'm markering that. That's a highlight. That was just great. That's the thing is, most of the time I'm just like, oh, why won't it work? But then, like, some of the time I'm just like, oh, I feel so cool. Playing by the seat of my my shorts. I'm guessing this is yellow switch. Yeah. Give me the yellow. Oh, are we going up? No, we're going down. Hey, sweet. Ah, nice. And then there's some more boxes around there. Shoot, is there like a way out of here? No, nope, I guess I just gotta go back the way I came. Platform. Oh, this? Ah. Oh, yeah, it just looped me around. Well, okay. So now I gotta get back to the beginning. Yeah, and just do the frozen crate. Cool. The frozen crate, and then there's a couple of just standard crates. So, do that. Dakota is so freaking cute in that tent. Look at her. Oh, here, just rest in her head. Oh, she's been so busy. She what? She's been so busy laying around that she's gotta lay down for a bit. <laughs> ah, crap. It's a really like the roll jump is. Really hard to get the timing right on. Like most of this platforming, it's like it's doable, but it's like really tight. It does. It, it's, I don't know. It's just you have to be so specific about the timing. Whoops! Like there. Need enough room to roll, and then uh, do a jump. It does hurt. It does hurt them, so that's pretty cool. A number of platforms where you're supposed to just barely get it with your fingies. You messed up, dude. There it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, those are the ones. Hold on, let me juice back up. Those are probably gonna have just some cake. I would be upset. And then you got roll jump. Ah, frick. I hate that particular segment because you have to roll jump into the whole thing, and then the rest of it you can get with regular jumps. Then the last one, until you jump on the platform, looks like it's a double jump. Then one. Just as you're double jumping, it refocuses up just enough for you to realize that you should have roll jumped. It's really annoying. Good. 
gotta juice up. Whoa. No more. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say if there's like one random one somewhere. All right, I did it. I got it. So what am I missing? Uh, I think volcanic crater. I I have one mis mystery one, and then I gotta pay more to the miners. They want so much. Look at this. This is what three hundred and sixty. So ridiculous, man. So greedy. And then also the lava tube. Oh. Oh, is that how I'm supposed to know that it's there? I see. I see. Level. Oh, sh I walked off the edge, but he grabbed. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's interesting how many games still do ice levels when so many people are like, man, I really dislike ice levels, including the people who make these games. I'll hear them being like, yeah, ice levels suck, and it's like, what? But you made an ice level. We go. Gee, I wonder. All right, to the miners first. I'm pretty sure they're this way. Yeah. Yes. Um. Oh yeah, the miner over here was just like, I found a cave behind some trees. So I guess that was supposed to be the hint. All right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs you are. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I think he says that exact thing each time. He's a man of the same words. Oh, oh, a little yeah, different. I got it this I'm a... He's a... He's a... A power cell! Yeah, yeah, what he said! How dumb is you, That's my it. man? You cleaned us out! No more power cell! Why are you so mad? Cool. So yeah, I just gotta get whatever this this one is, and I got all of the orbs. So you said by the spider cave. Whoops. Which is this way? I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly. Whoop. <laughs> I always expect him to move a little faster than he does because his animation makes it look like he'd move a lot faster. That's my big thing is like the animation look. Okay. The anim. Okay. The an. Ah! <laughs> the animation looks really good, but it's actually not very good as far as game animation goes because it can it poorly conveys your actual movement and speed and jump height it makes it look like you should be jumping way higher and running way faster race walking 
That's pretty much what- basically, they like walk at the beginning and then they all just start running, but they like- but the judges are looking, they're just like, oh, I was just walking- I was just walking along. Yeah, it's like, you're- they're not allowed to come within like five feet, they're not allowed to use like, rulers. No, wait, I think this might be lava tube. Hold on. Jack! Yeah, this is a lava tube. Oops. Yeah, I did it yesterday. It was just like another zoomer section. I. It's uh the way to the end. The, the goal in my citadel. Citadel is a very big word for this game. Yep. Yeah, precur. This this game uses a lot of hoity-toity words when. I don't think it's even for kids. Like, uh, like I said, it's like I wouldn't expect anyone younger than like a teenager to be able to handle the the like controls in this game. Like, unfortunately, probably never. It do slap. You should uh, make a change.org petition. Obama needs to know. What? Oh, there. What the? How? How? That's the thing. It's like I get that I have this, but it, the camera literally will not let you look up or down. It lets you do like that little nonsense sometimes. Or like, yeah, zoom in, zoom out. I guess, yeah, you can barely see it over there. That's... that's not too bad. Alright, where's the vent? Where's the vent? Where is the vent? Yeah, it's probably up there. It's... Uh, there's one up there. Oh. Wow, thanks guys. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot of this game feels mean-spirited. It feels like it's designed specifically to, like, make you feel like an idiot. There it is. Yeah, probably. Good! This is the problem with having rivers of, I mean, not lava in this case, but basically lava as far as the design goes. Is if you fall down, especially when sometimes you're supposed to fall down. Uh, especially when there's no way to see below you. I think that's a big problem with this game, but that's like a problem with a lot of platformers from back in the day. Is like, any time you, that you are supposed to fall down, just don't. Don't include that in your game. Because generally, people are not going to be able to see what's going on, and it's going to feel really unfair when they die from it. Oh my god, do I got to do this? No, no. Freaking, freaking. No. Okay. This is gonna be another one of those ones, like the friggin' vault in Rock Village, isn't it? Where they give you literally the bare minimum amount of time to complete this challenge. I feel like the challenge should just be in noticing it. <laughs> Like, just seeing that it's there was already ridiculous. And now I also have to do, like... What? Nope, nope. Ah! Man, the checkpoint brings me all the way back to the bottom. Yeah. 
No, don't fucking grab then. Ah! Sometimes he doesn't grab when he should. Sometimes he grabs when I don't want him to. I dislike this man. No, no! So predicated on you knowing every inch of this, and I know the spider cave pretty well now, but it still feels like I'm just going through blind. Such a ridiculous challenge. God damn it, he keeps getting hung up on fucking crystals! <laughs> like this shit, why does this have to... Look at that. This. Look at how far out this shit stretches. Look, here, I'm still fucking blocked. Why? Why do the fucking outcroppings stick out so far? Why are the hitboxes on those fucking ridiculously far? But the hitboxes on stuff like fucking the particle effects ass fucking eco is so fucking narrow. It feels so backwards. Ah, jump up! You fucking idiot! <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna miss that one, too. To get up there and do a fucking uh, switch into first person and then do first person shooting fucking blind. Holy shit! Who the fuck came up with this one? Someone on this team should not have fucking been allowed to make games. Jesus fucking Christ. Yep, didn't fucking get that either. God damn it. Can do the roll jump. And that's the thing, this would be a fun challenge if their fucking controls were at all consistent. There's so many times where basic fucking movements just don't work correctly. Huh? 
Fucking perfectly, which means wrestling with this goddamn camera because this wall is in the way. Then you got to fucking roll through there, but you have to do it at the exact perfect distance so that you don't fucking fall into the dark eco. And you got to fucking roll through that, hop up this shit. Uh, nope, nope, come on. And then I have time for one fucking shot, and it fucking miss. I had time for two shots at one point, I missed both of those too! Cause I have literally no time to fucking get into first person and fucking even figure out where the fuck I'm facing! There's all of like seven times you even have to do it in first person in this entire fucking game, so I don't know how the fuck they expect you to be that good at it that you can do it in fucking two shots in a panic. Like they really over... Estimate how fucking well you understand these controls at any point in this game. Ah. It's like in the smaller challenges, it doesn't matter that much, but then when it gets these really challenging bits, it's fucking vital that you're a master at these fucking controls. Ah. Up, up, you fool. No! Fuck! Come on, come on. Fuck! You didn't fucking roll! No fucking Christ, dude! Do the fucking jump! There we go! Up, up the fucking thing, come on! No fuck! Fucking... Fuck! Just getting over there with any amount left is such a fucking nightmare. They expect me to also be able to fucking go into first person facing the correct direction. And it does not point you at the fucking box in any kind of way. It points you in the general direction at best. What fucking monster designed this shit? Like this specific, like this and the fucking vault in Rock Village had to have been the same guy. And they should have... What fucking sadist did they hire on this team to make that shit? Was no one watching him? Does it, did he fucking, like, sneak in there in the dead of night? And fucking program in these fucking challenges and nobody noticed until later? And they're like, fuck, we already shipped the game. Steve the Psychopath was fucking on the crew. Why didn't anybody notice? Steve! I was hoping, because all I'd ever heard about this game was the fishing minigame. That's gonna get you. That's gonna fucking piss you off and take a million tries. But nobody talked about this. This is the, this is the fucking thing. I got the fishing minigame first try. Come on. Nope. Ah, fuck. It's like any one part of this would have been a fine challenge. The fucking drop down, the fucking 
run over the platforms, fucking hanging on to this. Fucking any part of that would have been fine, but the fact that they combined all of this shit, and every time you fuck up, you have to fucking climb all the way back up. And it doesn't take that long, but it takes just long enough to be a fucking nightmare. The thing is, fuck, I can't skip it at this point. I'm so close to just 100%ing that I may as well fucking get it now. Like that, they could have just not had that in the path. They could have had like a bridge there so that that's not a fucking thing that'll happen half the time. Or they could have put the fucking thing down on this platform. Or on this platform. You know, one of the platforms low enough that you can see where the fuck you're jumping down to. It just combines so many elements with this fucking challenge. It's absurd. This specifically is the part that really annoys me. I want to move just a tiny bit more left with the camera to line myself up perfectly, but they have the wall perfectly in the place where you're not allowed to do that. Like, that alone would make this so much less of a nightmare. <sighs> if you could just... Scoop the camera! Nope, nope, nope. Fuck, dude, do the jump! He just won't roll half the time! He'll just kind of fucking... Uh, he'll just kind of like... Uh, just like jiggle. Like he's going into a crouch and then just not do it! And by then I'm already off the platform! Jump, dude! There we go! No! Fuck! God fucking damn it! Just getting set up to fucking do it is such a fucking nightmare! And then if you even get close enough to fucking, like, starting through the shit... Jesus fucking Christ! Did they playtest this part? Did they not get a million complaints that it's like, this shit is impossible? Remove it from your game! Replace it with something that's, like, doable! Holy shit! Whoops. Oh, God damn it! Roll! Roll! Fuck's sake! Ugh! There's like that vent over there, but I'm pretty sure it's too high up and you'll take fucking fall damage. I don't know, I'm gonna try and give that a shot because maybe that's actually possible. Whoop, no. Okay, this is actually the fucking vent I should have been using. Very much. Fuck. It's still gonna be really fucking close! Okay. 
Oh my god! It's bouncing off the next fucking ledge! So I gotta get all the way up there. Fuck's sake, why is this so fucking precise? Why would you make such a minor mechanic such a fucking precise thing? Yeah. It's way easier to get up here, too. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, that was my bad, I guess. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, fuck. Did not give myself enough time. Jump! Off of the fucking vent. I don't want that, Jack. Jack, why are you doing that? Fuck, no! Fucking do it! Do it, do it, do it! Yes! Fucking Christ! Ah! I did it! Thank you. <laughs> oh. A fucking hidden power cell. That's what I'm saying. It's even called the hidden power cell. Like, yeah, it was hidden. That should have been the whole challenge. You didn't need to have all the... Uh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I, I think that vent will be open now. In that one part of the spider cave. <laughs> I'll go do that and then get to the Citadel and call that a day. It feels really sad to go back through these places when all the enemies are dead. Oh, except him. He's hanging out. Get, get the guy. Get the no wait. Yeah. Punch him. So this is probably gonna be my only hundred percent playthrough of Dragon Daxter I'll ever do. I can definitely see myself doing a casual playthrough again, but because of that and the Rock Village Vault, I'm just like, not 100%ing this ever again. <laughs> I'm glad I got- oh, hey! I got killed just close enough to here to get spawned over there. That sounds like a speedrun tactic. So yeah, I'm glad I've documented this 100% run. Yes! Yes, that did open the vent. So, Coco, you were right. They did not show that in any way. So, I'm glad you were here to even have that idea in the first place. Because I definitely would not have... Um, not have even thought of that. Oh, that's not good. That wasn't all of them. Oh no, did I miss one somewhere in the stage? Please, no. No! <laughs> yeah. Whoop. Well, that's a way to get out, I guess. <laughs> Seriously. He doesn't want to beat up with the spiders. So yeah, I'm missing one. Oh boy. This is going to be frustrating. Looking. Can I zoom? Can I zoom? Can I zoom? No. 
did... Did they not have the click in? They did. No, they definitely did. I remember in, um, um, what's that sniper game? They have it in, like, the arcades. When it'll have, like, the big old gun that you look through. Silent scope, I think. Um, but, si like, that, you would click in to zoom on, like, original PlayStation, so. So, it's definitely a thing. Mm. It's definitely a thing you could do. I was having a rough time. I'm good now. I'm gonna miss one down here. I've climbed up this stuff like a bajillion times. Right? Yeah. I feel like it has to be out in the larger area, or maybe. Maybe it's, um. in the dark cave. Whoa! Whoa. Okay. Oh, come on. That was literally right by the other spawn point. It couldn't have sent me over there. Wait, could there be one? No. be a voice bunny here. <sighs> Fingers crossed I actually get this. Please, please let me get this one. Ugh, good. I've got no voice bunnies today, so finally something. Just been having the worst luck with them in general lately, I don't know. It's been a real slow week. All right, I gotta find this egg. Gotta find this egg before I run out of time for the voice bunny. I have half an hour. It's more like 25 minutes since I actually have to record and edit and everything. Egg? Egg, are you here? Egg, are you here? Are you here, my friend? Hold on. Anything over there? No. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a break, do this voice bunny, hit the bathroom, stretch my legs, all of that, and then I'll be back um, in just a bit. So don't go anywhere. Be right back with some Jank and Daxter.
Mixed up the kids how? Mm -hmm. I remember that, yep. Four kids? I remember there being, there only being three. Sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's that tracks. Um, yeah, I. Yeah, I don't know. I feel that. I don't think that anything they added actually made anything better. And in fact, uh, in some ways, it was kind of irresponsible because, like, the I didn't tell you guys because I didn't have a chance. But um, when I went to get a drink from the bar, uh, the guy tending bar was like. Uh, I don't trust doctors anymore because of movies like that, and it's like, do you mean because the one doctor was stabbing people? Which, you can probably tell that's not a thing doctors are going to do. Or did he mean because they were doing the experiments, because, I'll tell you, they're pretty clear that that's not cool in the movie, and also, those are scientists, not doctors. So, like... Yeah, I don't know what he was... That guy was kind of difficult to talk to. Like, he was the kind of guy when you talk to him, it's like... He clearly was not listening to a word you said. Yeah, pretty much. Like, because I had all these points about, like, yeah, I think Shyamalan, like... Is a pretty bad character director, and he, the actors all felt super wood. Like all these actual criticisms of the movie, and then he comes in with this weird, like, I think political thing. I think he was trying to get into some anti-vax stuff, honestly, from the vibe he was giving off. He was not wearing a mask, so that's you know, not too good. Um, oh wait, this one. oh that was spider hole. No, the centipede. Um, I'm trying to remember how to get... Is that where I think it was? Whoop. Crap. Um... I'm trying to remember how to get to, like, the dark cave. No, yeah, I did that. While y'all were out yesterday. Because I think it'd be there? Or maybe it's at the base of one of these... Where the centipedes were that I missed. This, like, could be a million places. This is the absolute worst thing that could happen. <laughs> like, jeez. I just, yeah, what am I supposed to do here? Other than just check every single nook and cranny and hope to find it. Where do you think you're going, dog? You chill out. You go cool off, dog. Get out of here. Get out of here, spider. Hey, spider. Back off. Spider. I think it's up here is where I want to go. Yeah, it's like... Whoa! Okay, I way overshot that, but that's fine. Oh, wait. Have I been up here? Was I? can't tell. Is it... Do I bounce off that? Egg? Egg, please? I'm missing... I'm missing exactly one of the precursor orbs out of 200 somewhere in this level. Ah, where? Where is it? Dark Cave is over there. That's okay, the, point, the spawn point is right here. Did I get them all over there? Yeah, pretty sure. Oh, God damn it! They move at the exact rate where if you start going when they're moving away, you will not make it. And you can't grab onto these because you'll be dipped into the co. Is it over here, maybe? Egg? 
Excuse me, egg? Excuse me, sir, egg? Ah! I got this. Just gotta find this egg, and then I gotta get back to the this. Oh no! I gotta figure out the lava tube. I can do that next stream. Next stream, I will do the lava tube, and I will do the last area in the citadel. But like for now, I just want to find this last egg and get back to the lava tube. I feel like I probably missed the egg somewhere in here. It's, it's dark. There we go. Get out of here. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Sometimes the camera gets fun. That's some random little bit of bob. Bang. Go. Uh, I had to swim down here for the one crystal. I need to check in like stage A. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Uh, no way was that he. Hold on, I remember I gotta, like, get myself plenty of time here. Ah! No, it's moving in the wrong cycle. Whoa! Okay, I definitely hit jump there. So that I'm glad it didn't. That probably would have messed me up, but wow. You expect to jump and you don't? That's so Jack and Daxter. Please, please come back. <laughs> oh no. There probably is. Woo! Hold on, I'm gonna stream marker that. That was impressive. So yeah, I apologize that you had to be there for the, the second rage challenge in this game. Well, you missed out on the... the si that one was my fault. I forgot that they dropped so fast. Um, but like, you weren't here for the Rock Village Vault, because I was losing my mind at that one. It's so ridiculously difficult. And like the worst part is you don't you can't even make it all the way to the vault. You literally have to get to the tiniest edge of its hitbox to trigger it. Like there's no what you can't get any closer than that in time. And you can't see when it activates. You have to listen to see if it activated. It's ridiculous. Come on, come on. Give me the project. Give me the project. Come on, come on, come on. Now give me it. Can't you see that I would like the project? Ooh, what was that promise that you made? Cool. I got it. So I'm just gonna get this egg. And I'll call it a day so I can go do this. Whew. Just double check that it wasn't... Yeah, no. 199 out of 200. <laughs> it's a nightmare! See, this isn't as bad as Crash Bandicoot 4, but Crash Bandicoot 4 also has the problem of, like, casually, great game, super fun. 100% it? No... The gap. Oh, okay, so I like messed up on the one tiny space. <laughs> oh. oh god, and an elevator. Oh no, I can't make it in time. I don't think I don't think that there's any like pits for this one though. I gotta keep looking around. Where's that last egg? Where's that last egg at? Wait? This window. Is it over there? Uh, nope. 
Oh no. Why am I going down? Oh, right, that's where the power cell was originally, so... It wasn't there. I don't know where else it could have been, though. Hmm. Where else have I not checked? I guess in that big main area, I must have missed one from, like, the centipedes or something. That's fine, it's gonna spawn me on the other side. Yeah, that's right. Speedrun strat. <laughs> I'm a, a what, you, what you might call a, a pretty good gamer. <laughs> yeah, I guess I must have missed. Because I, like, killed all of them at one time, so I could have dropped in, like, base of any of these. And it was, like, random amounts each time in, like, a pretty, like, inconsistent formation. I don't even know. What the? Hey, why does the spider got home and spit? This is not fair. Who gave him this? No! That movie with David Duchovny? My hope with this, because I, I can tell from watching some of those walkthrough videos, it's like, you can get amazing at the platforming in this, but like, it's just, I just feel like I've barely scratched the surface of even comprehending the platforming in this. It's so, so tough. No, oh, wait, over there, maybe. But I've missed an egg at the base of this one. Maybe. Please. Donde esta mi huevos? I keep seeing like the dark eco kind of fluttering up and it looks like one for a second. I have no clue. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> what am I meant to do? This is like worst case scenario. Because, like, dying, getting game overs, that's not a thing in this game. But missing a single precursor orb? Oh my god. Is this even, like, real? Am I hallucinating right now from pure rage? Which one? This one? Um, there is to the right, which had the dark eco crystal. I checked there. There was a dark eco crystal up there, and I, I looked, there wasn't anything. And then that way is just the dark cave with like a single little offshoot to another dark eco crystal, and I checked there. So, as far as I can tell, it's not over there. I think I've checked. It's really hard to tell because there's just. I don't know. Like, the, this game is not very clear about how many there is until. And they basically are just like, oh, yep, you got them all. It's like, I guess I did. I'll have to trust you on that. Oops, that was a stupid idea. I don't know. I guess, like, there's nothing necessarily saying you have to have, to have a, like, ba da da out of ten, like, counter. But it's helpful. That's a much more modern kind of thing. It's, it's a thing that... Banjo Kazooie did. Not to harp on my favorite game, but. Banjo Kazooie. Maybe it's over around here. I haven't really been. I've been hanging out in this area, but I've never actually, like, looked around. What's this? A secret cave? No, I've been here. 
The thing is, too, it's a single orb, which means it's like in a was in a cluster or something that I just like missed. Let me just get to higher ground, I guess. Whoa. idea <laughs> no. why is this life why is this game watch one of those, like, every per precursor orb videos and just go to every single location. I think I might have to. I don't think it's the one where it's easily missable because it's a single one. I'm missing it very hard. I... Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna come back to it in the next stream. So I'll get this, I'll get whatever hidden one in the lava tube. I think it's the lava tube. Or no, wait, is it the mountain mountain pass? Uh, I'll get that one, and then I will finish up the game with Golem Maya Citadel. Yeah, which is all just... Scout flies and freeing the sages, which you gotta do for the game. 85%, that's pretty good. So, I gotta go work. Oh, I bumped the mic. Sorry. Thanks for watching. Thanks for inviting me into your home, computer, tablet, laptop, phone, whatever. Uh, please follow and subscribe. Use your Twitch Prime subscription, which if you have Amazon Prime, you get Twitch Prime for free. So just link those up and uh, you get a free sub every month. Appreciate if you consider using that on me. Check me out on YouTube, Iggy and the Ape, one word, or Iggy Kid Twitch Archive. That's three words, Iggy Kid Twitch Archive. They're both linked down below in the browser version. Follow me on Twitter at Iggy D Kid, where I post up whenever I go live and uh, whenever I make a video or all sorts of stuff. <sighs> yep. Um, you can also check out on the uh, archive all of my past streams, so check that out. Thanks very much for watching, and hey, if nobody else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, let me see. Let me see if uh, there's anybody to raid over to. TheYeti.com. Eh, they're not going to follow back. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Have a good day, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.